Hello and welcome to this video produced by the Alaska Satellite Facility on how to download data from Vertex. To download data, you have to be logged in and you need to perform a search to have search results that you wish to download. When I show you this, I'm using Chrome and in Chrome, there's going to be more functionality available to me than there is in other browsers. You can use whichever browser you like, but Chrome is going to have some more benefits that you will see shortly. We will enhance the download functionality for other browsers when they support it. But first, let's go ahead and do a search. Here I'm doing just a very simple geographic search on Sentinel data. And I'm going to raise the window up so I can see more of my search results. Now I have a few options here. I can go ahead and I can say I want to take all of these results and add them to the download queue. And here you'll see that it will add 178 files to the download queue. Now you might ask why 178 files? There's 250 files showing here in 38 scenes. Why only 178 files are going to be added to my download queue? Well, it's because by default, we don't include raw files. Most people don't use the raw files, so we don't include those and waste your time downloading them. If you do want them, you can come over here, click this raw file indicator, go ahead, and now you will add all 250 files. But let's go ahead right now and just get rid of that and, and say, okay, I can add all 178, and here they are. We give you a little message that we added it to the download queue. And here you see all 178 files, 98 gigabytes worth of data in your download queue. Now that's more than you'll usually want. The search results, unless you make it very narrow, will have more data than you possibly wish, wish to download. So we can go ahead and clear it, and I can show you some other techniques for downloading data. One technique, you might be here and you can see these um, six files that are associated with this scene. You could go ahead and add all six files to your download queue, and there they are. You could also come over, select a different scene. Say, in this scene, I only want this particular L2 file to be downloaded. You can click this button here, and we will download it immediately. We don't add it to the queue. We immediately download it. And here you see it's now in my downloads folder on my computer. Now, another uh, technique here. Let's go ahead and we'll just add a couple files here from uh, in, in this scene to the download queue. So now it's added the scene to the download queue. I got a total of eight in here because I just added two more. And there you see them. Now, once they're in the download queue, you've got all the files that you want. You have a few options. One, you could come over here and just copy a particular file ID. And if I pull up an editor, and paste that now, it's put it in the clipboard. There's the file ID that I just uh, selected. Now, another option would be to download it. And here, if you're in Chrome, I'm going to provide you a little bit more functionality. You click on this and we're going to be a little smarter. We're gonna say, where do you wanna download it? You can select whichever folder you like. You can click it. It will start the download. You'll see here the percentage complete and you can cancel it if you like. And now the download file has been stopped. You can also remove it from your download queue just by clicking there. So you can work on individual files in the download queue and you have more functionality in Chrome with that ability to stop it in progress than you would in other browsers. Another thing I can do is come over for copy file IDs. It's copied all the file IDs to the clipboard. Again, I can open up an editor and paste those in and you see all the file IDs. The idea here is that you could write your own scripts, put it into a spreadsheet, however you wish to manipulate it, it's there for you to do so. We do the same, let me see here, just a second, let me clear this out. And you can do the same with the um, URLs. You can copy the URLs to the clipboard, open up an editor, and again, we will give you those, all those files that are in the download queue and we'll provide the URLs to you. Another thing that you can do is come over here to data download. And here we will provide mechanisms for directly downloading the data. If you are in Chrome and you're logged in, you can see this experimental option, download all is available to you. Now, if you are not using Chrome, this will be grayed out. The other options will be available. 
but let's go ahead and start a download all. Again, we're going to give you the ability to select which folder you would like to download to. It's going to say, hey, the browser is going to warn you, let this site view the files that uh, you have here. Yeah. Save, let them save the files. Yep. So it's going to go ahead and we're going to start to batch up the files and download them to your machine. And you can see the progress as the different files come down to your machine. And this is a really great way to just download them all online. You see here, we're going after four gigabytes and seven files, and it's progressing relatively rapidly uh, through those. Again, you can stop them in midpoint if you like, or you can let it progress. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this one, finish this one. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this one. But you get the idea here of what you can do uh, uh, with the individual files and with the download queue as a whole. Now also, there we go. Also, you have the ability to download a Python script. And if you select this option, we are going to custom create a Python script for you that downloads all these files that are in the download queue. We will download that, put it in your default download directory, and you can run that Python script within Python locally on your machine, and it will go out and get all of these files and download them to your computer. We also produce a Metalink file for your use to download. Over here, we provide the metadata. You can get all the metadata for the files that are in your CS or in your um, download queue, and we provide that metadata in CSV, KML, and GeoJSON formats. So that is a brief introduction to how you download data from Vertex. If you would like to know more, we have the docs. You can open it up, and we will give you detailed documentation here within Vertex. And you can also leave feedback. If there's anything else you'd like to know, please go ahead and leave us some feedback or send us a message. And we thank you for watching this video, and we wish you the best of luck in downloading data in Vertex.